What's up YouTube family? It's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and today I am making a video that y'all have requested. I have had several people request a pantry tour of all of our canned goods and just all the things that we store here on the homestead. So I'm going to take you guys around and attempt to show you all of our food storage. It's pretty crazy. So let me say that right up front. If you don't actually store as much food as I'm about to show you, don't feel bad. It's probably a crazy amount. That's just one of my passions is bulk food shopping and food storage for our family. Uh, it started a long time ago. Ben actually is the one who got me into it. When I, we were first married, I would do the typical grocery shop once a week, every single week, and buy just little bits of this and that that we were out of. Until one day he said, hey, why don't you start when we're out of something instead of buying one buy two of those and then we're not ever out of anything because we live quite a ways from town and when i was growing up we lived minutes from the store we didn't go all the time but we always could and we are pretty far out here in the country it's not that we're stuck at home because of weather or anything like that but we run a large farm on top of Ben has a full-time job on top of two teenagers trying to complete high school and a whole bunch of other things so sometimes it's just not practical for us to get to town all the time sometimes not even once a week to go to the grocery store so that is where this was all born from and then on top of that i discovered azure standard and they're my favorite place for food staples that we don't grow and the more i order bigger quantities the better price i get and if it's something i know we're going to eat i'm all about a deal so that is where this comes from let's get started all right so we are going to start here at this beautiful beautiful shelf built by my wonderful husband uh, he built this for me as a gift a few years ago and i love this thing so let's just get right to it up here is all kinds of tinctures and spices and just things that i use to keep us healthy um, as well as to cook with same thing down here and it's funny how much spices and herbs for cooking and as well as for healing overlap um, that's some um, lemongrass that I dried. A lot of these I dried from things I actually grew. Some I purchased from Azure Standard. They're my favorite place for spices as well. Let's just go down through here. There's deer meat canned. Those are quart and a half jars of tomato that have been peeled and canned. I like to can in quart and a half jars as much as I can get my hands on those. I snatch those up every time I see them at yard sales, estate sales, whatever. Um, you used to can buy those with syrup in them, I believe, and so, but they're pretty hard to find now. And then juice, V8, some peas and apples, pickles, um, some jelly stuck in here and there. Those are black eyed peas that I uh, canned, as well as chili sauce to eat on the peas, carrots, and then this right here is probably my most ask about canned food item. And you can see I was pretty new to it here. This wound up pretty low i've got quite a few more that are pretty full back in here but that is actually fish i have canned several types of fish but trout fishing is a pretty big thing in arkansas and um but trout are very bony so we started canning them it um actually helps kind of like you buy tuna in a can it helps to actually just dissolve the bones and then we eat that a lot like you would tuna that's really delicious and it's a great way to use up trout or some kind of bony fish. Salsa, that's our favorite salsa. Um, and then we've got green tomato pickles like you would get at a fish house here in the south. More jellies and jams that I've made from fruit we've grown and went and harvested. Beauty berry jellies, hot peppers, cowboy candy, uh, pinto beans, green beans, more juice, more green beans, black beans just all kinds of good stuff and then in these baskets down here the the ones up under the shelf are full of spaghetti squash and then i've got um sweet potatoes which i need to replenish some onions i need to replenish from out um, in an outbuilding and i've got some onions and potatoes in here as well all right we're in my laundry room now this is actually my overflow storage um, i've got more peas more black beans and then i've got just empty jars on these shelves um, i like to keep some of my empty jars in the house that way when i'm ready to can they're in here i have hundreds of jars in other locations i can always go get as well more shelves in here i've got spaghetti sauce 
Those are actually pickled radishes. I've got peach preserves. That was my first attempt at tomato sauce a couple years ago. It's kind of thin, but it's still good. And I've got more beans that we grew. I can't believe I'm giving y'all a glance in here. Emily would be mortified because she thinks I'm messy. She tries to keep me organized, but we're still working on it. But uh, we've got just condiments. This is my real pantry. Um, these are more things I buy from Azure Standard. Uh, when I don't have time to make cream soups, this is my favorite brand, Pacific Foods. It's real simple. It's an organic cream soup to cook with. Juices to make kombucha, um, some lemonade for the kids. Um, these are coffee blends I've made that I, I can't drink coffee right now. So those are gallon jars of it that are made of herbs. It's a herbal blend. I've got lots of nuts up here that I purchased from Azure Standard that I like to soak and then dehydrate. Speaking of coffee, there's some, but I can't drink it. Oils and more spices, some um, healthy chocolate chips, beans and rice and cornstarch, just all kinds of staple items in here. Um, more beans, I bought those actually to plant from Azure Standard. Uh, those are black beans. I wanted to show you one more thing before I leave. If you're on Whole30 or any kind of whole food plan, that is the best salad dressing I've ever found for like a whole food diet, especially it's Whole30 approved. That's what, when we were doing Whole30 a few years ago, that's what got me onto it. All right, we're going to my next storage area. When we built our house originally, we had a safe room installed, but then quickly realized um, through some severe, severe tornadoes coming through um, and in, in surrounding states as well, that our safe room really wasn't super safe. So we since then put in a storm cellar and the safe room became my above ground root cellar. Ben's built me shelves in here. It stays cool. Um, it's a concrete room, so it stays really cool. Uh, it's just a great, great root cellar. Um, and before I leave the uh, traditional pantry in there, the kids told me the other day, they said, we don't really have a lot of snack foods. We just have a lot of ingredients. And I said, that's exactly right. And that's how I like it. That's how I like to do it. So if we want cookies, we have to make them um, or some kind of, you know, any kind of snack food like that. We make trail mix and different things like that. So that's how I've tried to do it. It keeps me from um, just buying all the snacky junk stuff all the time and then that's all we eat. Okay, so here's where my crazy is going to come out. These are my bucket storage for um, large items that I purchased from Azure Standard. But all of these things I'm about to tell you about, you can purchase in small quantities as well. I like to get their laundry liquid. So that's what that is. And then I put it in something smaller to actually use. And that says cereal, but it's actually oats for oatmeal. There's, um, I do have some pasta in that one. This one is cornmeal, rice. Um, Azure Standard has my favorite brand of rice. It's Lundberg rice. It's uh, rice is a highly, highly sprayed crop, and so organic rice is hard to come by. Um, sugar, I try to buy the natural, the whole uh, unrefined sugar. Flour, and then that is wheat berries, and that down there is wheat berries, and then I have a bucket, it's about half full of popcorn. We like to make our own popcorn. Along with some various items in here for canning that just get stuck in here. Along with honey buckets and things um, that are to do with the collection of honey. All right, so I had to come in here to finish showing you what all's in here. This is the other side of the room. Salt, if you like to store foods in bulk and prepare for the what ifs, if you ever need to provide for yourself, salt is something you definitely wanna have to preserve meats and different things like that. There's quite a few buttercup squash in there. This is where I store extra herbs and things for making tea. I've got extra canned good storage. I've got a lot, I've got more spaghetti squash and candy roasters, more candy roasters. Hope y'all can still see more canned goods. I've got a bucket of salt down there behind that. And I've got an extra milking machine that I've used periodically along with some of my canners. Okay, I have to admit, I actually have those baskets all full of teas and herbs. I keep all those herbs to make different tea blends and just all kinds of different things if I feel like we start to get sick or something to try to head those things off. All right, guys, so we're out in the garage now. That's mostly the pantry stuff. Let's check out the freezers. Okay, freezer number one. This is mainly pork and overflow. 
So that box right there, Emily's taking that out, is mainly seeds. That's just extra seeds that have gotten a little bit older. We don't like to throw them away. So that's what that is. This is all of our homegrown pork, along with rabbits, juice for jellies. Um, there's some fish down in there. There's some store-bought turkey because um, if you wait till after the holidays, the stores will almost give the turkeys away, literally. And so we stock up sometimes on those if we don't grow turkeys. But that's in the plan this next year. Lots of deer meat. Lots of different types of deer meat. And just more pork back in there. Roasts and bratwursts and all kinds of stuff. Alright, this is our beef freezer. All kinds of ground beef. Um, beef bones. Roasts and briskets and minute steaks. This is just all completely beef. When we, when we get a beef back as well, this little box right here is bones and they still have meat on them that they would just throw away, but you can get those back for your dogs or um, just a bull for broth. We also get our um, beef tallow is somewhere down in here that I render down, as well as the pork fat was in the other one. I render that down as well. Great for soap making or cooking with. All right, just a couple more freezers and we're done. This is full of mostly homegrown vegetables. We've got corn and peppers and uh, broccoli and cauliflower. There is some fruit mixed in that I purchase usually from Azure Standard, sometimes Walmart. Apples that I picked and chopped up. Um, you can see some store-bought broccoli, um, but there's lots of chopped up homegrown squash. We just chop it and freeze it, and then we saute it um, and cook the water off and dump it off put a little butter or something in it to finish sauteing it. It's delicious along with some seasonings. More peppers, cranberries I scored on sale, green beans that I froze to saute, and then blackberries that we grew. And there's lots more things back in there too that I just can't see right now. All right, we're actually out at another freezer. This is where I keep my chickens. You can see Ben's got some honeycomb in here more chickens down in here this is just a various things freezer there's actually some deer meat right there there's just several different things in here so we actually have two refrigerators because we have to store a lot of milk and eggs um, to sell to other people so because of that both of those refrigerators have freezers on them so including those two small refrigerators the freezers that are on them we have seven freezers total we store a lot of things in freezers other than just food like I mentioned, beekeeping supplies. Ben does a lot of trapping, um, and so he stores a lot of things like that in there. Um, it, they just they fill up quick, especially when you process whole animals at a time for yourself. Um, a cow will fill a freezer really quickly. All right, last stop is one more outbuilding. It's a little bit dark in here, but this is another outbuilding, and this is where we store the bulk of our potatoes you can see those are sprouting those will be excellent to plant this spring i just plant them whole like that and leave part of that sprout sticking out of the ground and it's worked wonderfully for us we've got extra garlic in here i did have extra onions i've since sorted through those and froze a lot of my onions and then here is our massive sweet potato harvest we're steadily using off of it and um we shared with family but um, there's just still a ton of sweet potatoes here. And so those are great to, uh, we'll be eating off those for a while, as well as if they start to sprout, Ben will take them and root them and make slips out of them for us to plant sweet potatoes this coming year. So that is pretty much it. You pretty much got the grand tour of my pantry and my food supply. I know it's pretty crazy, but uh, it's just the way we like to do things. It's not the only way to do things. It doesn't mean everyone has to store crazy amounts of food, but it's, I guess you'd say it's just kind of a hobby of mine. Um, it's just making sure that I have ingredients to make pretty much whatever I want to. Um, and then especially when you grow your own food, you got to find a way to preserve it. So in these winter months where there's not much growing, you have food to eat. So that's that. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.